is Electric Adventures here with another original Spectre video game. Um, this one I also own a copy of. Um, it's called Tetra Horror. Um, the action, it's really interesting that the, the interesting cover art and everything like that and the title doesn't quite gel with the gameplay which I suppose was a mess tale uh, standard practice back in the day. Alright, so as usual we will go with uh, starting practice. These games normally practice doesn't have all the elements in it, so we'll play practice once and then we'll have a go at normal. Um, so, you change direction with the joystick and you press the button to jump and we need to collect the letters that make up the word fuel and when you do that you get a fuel tank. So you need to, and I think if you do them out of order you've got to start again. And besides this, you know, slightly strange opening game mechanic, but actually have done a very good job with the um, character graphics using uh, more than one sprite. To give quite a, you know, colourful character. Once again, they seem to be absolutely obsessed with isometric. Very careful, you can't hit them when you're on the same level. Ooh. Okay, so five's the most we can get, and I think if you finish it quickly, you get more time. get to the skulls and one of the hardest things is lining up your shots because once again this obsession with isometric <laughs> I noticed that it started to turn to blue, so we... Silly enough to fall off the edge. You have to land on the cloud to float up. Run out of time. Ah. And if you don't make it in time. So it's actually quite an interesting mechanic. Now remember we are playing practice so it doesn't have all of the game mechanics. Okay, they didn't send us all the way back to the start. And I did it. Okay. So now we have the... There we go. 
nice. Now I believe we are. Whoops. Oh, fuck. We are using uh, our fuel, and I've hit by one of the red things. So there is actually a fair bit to this game. definitely not what you would expect the game to be. Oh, okay. the thing you need to collect. So I think now we go back to the first level. And that wipes out any fuel you have. So I'm going to start again. I will note that the timer is going down faster though. first got this game I wondered what in the world is going on and actually did wonder that maybe this is all the gameplay was going to um, add up to sometimes. I mean, look, the controls are reasonably responsive, it's just a very strange game. So we have five, let's see if it gets any harder. So we've got balls bouncing on the thing. Your main man is actually animated quite well. There's a lot of frames in his animation. Right, got him. So there's two stages in this stage, but looks like we better get that one first. Me. 
the balloon just knocked me back a bit. So, a happy tune, and around we go again. This bit doesn't seem to get any. Uh, uh, ah, look, there we go. We have a skull dropping down. Jump off the edge. Okay, so they are moving quicker. See this getting here, I'm down to my last life, so I might as well keep going. I don't think we need to replay the other levels because that's obviously some of the Oh, and you can't shoot those. There we go. So that is Tetra Horror. Uh title two I can't read that. Two one six T in the Spitch Video catalogue. There are gaps in the numbers in the catalogue, so there are possibly titles were planned and never made. Um, yeah, it's um, interesting playing these games. I haven't played some of these games for a very, very long time, probably almost 20 years, um, and really doing these because there are pretty much no other gameplays on YouTube of these games for the original Spitch Video. And these were all made uh, before the MSX came along and in some cases some of these were made before the Coleco games as well so yes very interesting titles I was actually I remember back in the day I was very interested in getting this because this was a new title that um, you know hadn't come out in the original lot um, I was a little disappointed when I actually got it and played it because it's entertaining for a little while but it's not really a game you want to come back to again and again all right I hope you've enjoyed this gameplay. I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.